हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन द सीरीज ऑन डीएसपी इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू ऑन इंटरप्स ऑन डीएसपी फर्दर वी विल टॉक अबाउट कॉल इंटरप्स लाइन हाउ मेनी इंटरप्स लाइन्स आर अवेलेबल हाउ मेनी इंटरप्स आर अवेलेबल फॉर द डीएसपी फर्दर वी विल टॉक अबाउट रीसेट and reset bootloader what is the reset bootloader and what are different kinds of bootloading options available on dsp tms 320x and what will happen to the registers uh, bit initializing after the reset uh, okay so before going to the technical term on the interrupts uh, let's start with an analogy think a nice evening and you are working at your desk preparing the laboratory experiments for the next day suddenly the phone rings you answer it and then you get back to the work so this is the interruption between your work and your phone rings so to the four calls the better of course the calls come from your girlfriend you might have to rethink your next step due to the priority so the phone calls come from your girlfriend your mother so these are the priority so you have to rethink whether you have to respond to your uh, phone call and you have to respond to your phone call as uh, sooner as possible so this have a priority of interruptions anyway sooner or later you will have to get back to the preparation of the task for the next day otherwise you might not pass the next exam so with this analogy we will take some basic definitions for the interrupts so the interrupts are a synchronous event because it appears suddenly and the next is interrupt might be more or less important so they have priority they must be dealt before the phone is stop ringing so they must be dealt immediately the laboratory preparation should be continued after the call the interrupt task should be resumed the time spent to search the phone should be as small as possible this is called interrupt latency after the call you should continue your work from the exact place where you left it that is known as a context save or context restore so to summarize the technical term what is the interrupts so interrupts are a synchronous event they are generated by external or internal hardware units an event causes the controller to interrupt the execution of current program and to start a service routine which is dedicated to this event after the execution of this interrupt service routine the program that was interrupted will be resumed so the quicker the cpu perform the task the task switch the more this controller is suited for real time control so hence after going this chapter this module you will be able to understand the f2833x interrupt system and this interrupt system we will cover into the two or three lectures and that will cover all the program controlled interrupt cpu timers we will talk about in the subsequent lectures the next is what are the core interrupt lines so basically for f2833x consists of 16 interrupt lines as you can see these are the 16 interrupts line which f2833x consists out of 16 two are two are non maskable and these are the reset and non maskable interrupts and 14 are maskable interrupts which are interrupt 1 to interrupt 
So what is the mean of maskable and non-maskable? So maskable is a binary combination of 1 and 0 that is 1 indicate the enable the core interrupts line and 0 indicate the disable the core interrupts lines. That means the programmer can allow or disable the interrupts line from these 14 lines. How to do that? By loading that mask into registers interrupt enable register IER we can select which interrupt line will be enabled to request an interrupt service from the CPU. By selecting the interrupt enable register we can select which interrupt line we have to service from the CPU. And the non maskable cannot be disabled and interrupt request. And hence, once the signals line goes active, the running program will be suspended. Whatever running program will be continuing that will be suspended and the dedicated interrupt service routine will start depending on the which it request we have to send to the CPU. So these are the programmable selectable. And one more thing that interrupt have a priority. So the non the maskable interrupts and non maskable interrupts have a priority. First they will happen, reset and non maskable interrupts will have they will happen and later uh, the mask of interrupts will happen to the system. And all interrupts lines are connected to the table of interrupt vector which consists of 32 bit memory location per interrupts. We will talk about this in detail in, in subsequent lectures on interrupts. Next, the reset. What is a reset and what is do? A reset on the digital signal controller happens on high to low transition at external reset pin. We have an external reset pin with the external reset pin on high to low transition. The reset will happen to the core of DSP processor. And another thing by which we can do the reset that is the watchdog timer if watchdog timer overflows the reset will happen to the processor the core of the processor and the next thing is when we turn on your device the dsp processor dsp controller the time also reset will happen to the device so what will happen to the reset if reset happens what will happen to the digital signal controller when reset happens it forces the controller to start from the initial state it clear all the internal operation register to the initial state and it will clear all the interrupt operations also. And reset will force the controller to start from the initial address. The initial address is for the controller is 0 x 3 f f f c zero this is the initial address for the controller when reset will happen it will start from the this address then what is the re reset boost loader what is the reset boot loader after the reset signal has been released the cpu start the execution of first code section in rom that is called boot loader so when reset signal we have released the CPU start the execution of the first code section in the ROM memory that is called a bootloader and depending upon the function of these GPIO pins, so the selection of these GPIO pins, the function determines the next step where the next step will go. So these are the different bootloading options. By default, it will jump to the flash address at this location and depending upon the these GPIO pins you can select by default it will be 1111 it will jump to the this memory address on the memory and depending upon the different combinations you can go to the EEPROM 
and you go to the uh, you can call the boot boot from boot to load from e can a mailbox or well, there are several options you can uh, check uh, with this options so what will happen when you uh, apply reset when you reset happens what will happen to the registers bit so all internal MET registers acc p and xt and auxiliary register xar0 to xar7 are cleared interrupts are disabled and pending interrupts which have been requested before reset are cancelled the stack pointer is initialized to address 0x400 and the program counter point to points to hardware start address 0x3x00fc0 so all the register bits initialized to the initial states when uh, you are reset the your digital signal controller other than that there are two more registers i have not mentioned in the slides ht0 and ht1 we have another two registers these are the ht0 and ht1 combined all the control and status status flags or the cpu and ht0 contains all the math bits such as zero carry negative whereas ht1 covers some general more general operating bits so all will be initialized to their initial states when we reset will reset is applied to the our digital signal controller in this lecture we are talking about till this in the subsequent lecture slides on interrupts we will talk about interrupts uh, in more detail uh, we will talk about interrupt sources how they are uh, how can we use the interrupt sources for the particular applications how can we access the uh, interrupt timer interrupts different timer interrupts uh, for the applications uh, and we will talk about pi interrupt vector table peripheral interrupt extension unit and at the last we will talk about we will talk about uh, uh, some programming uh, on how can we select to the interrupt uh, interrupt from the interrupt vector table from pi vector table and for the particular applications and what the use of each and every line we will talk about in the subsequent lectures thank you if you found any difficulties comment me on comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much